Hello everybody. So I've got a new delivery of magnets and what I have here are one centimeter cube magnets that are arranged in a Halbach pattern and also in a circular pattern and I will show you what this looks like under the magnetic viewing film. So I will put it underneath here and this is the weak side of the array that you see here and it forms a nice pattern that you can see here and now I will turn the magnet to the side and you can then when I turn it to the other side see the strong side of the magnet array and I just turn and rotate it then I bring it closer and now I will just rotate the array when it's close by and as you can see these white lines in the center they are rotating also when I rotate the array itself. You can see this even better if I bring it out here. So this is what it looks like when I just bring it further away and that closer again and then we have a side view so you see the array itself and as you can see the field extends way further on one side than on the other I just show you the strong side again like this and then I flip it over to the weaker side so this was the first array now I switch over to the next array that I've built looks the same but the magnets are arranged differently not in a Halberg configuration this time but all magnets are facing the same direction so I have no north pole facing inwards and all south pole facing outwards and in a circular yeah, pattern this gives us a field that looks like this You can see these white lines, the pattern that forms. And now I will just rotate it a bit. So we have a strong north pole at the center. And on the sides here we have south poles. And flip it around to the other side and it looks exactly the same again just rotate it a bit this is a close-up view from the side and I just rotate it a bit A very interesting array I think especially if you look at the direction of the white lines how they form um, if I'm not mistaken these look different than the 
lines than what they form when I hold a normal single magnet underneath because I don't really see that crossover pattern so much but more in one direction as you can see here but anyways let's continue over to the next array and here I have a quadrupular, a quadrupular magnet array and these are just for, for magnets in an alternating north-south direction so this gives us a field that looks like this looks also very nice and interesting I think and because these magnets are much bigger than the ones I had before because I usually use these 5 mm cube magnets and now we have 10 mm cube magnets here we can um, show the field much better and you get a much clearer image this is just it viewed from the side and there you see this crossover pattern that I talked before where basically the spirograph pattern interferes with each other it's basically clockwise and counterclockwise and yeah with the other array it was just in one direction is the other side looks the same and yeah I will just rotate it a bit like this then again like this And I hope this gives you a bit of an idea of how these circular arrays form their fields and what patterns you can arrange them. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.